think I'm the best candidate to change the trajectory of our community, which we, we desperately need at that point at this point. So with that, I will uh, most, uh, I'm most interested in hearing what you have to say and any questions or concerns. Yes, sir. John Tilly, Toledo, Ohio. All right. Um, you said Youngstown yeah, had a program yeah. going on at UCSBA. That's right. It already exists. That's right. And somebody gave up, oh, the, the, at Durbin gives 10% of the loan. The, I, I can hear that. 10% of the loan value. The business has to put in 10%. Right. right. The entrepreneur. The entrepreneur, that's okay. right. Okay. And then. Where, I, I missed where the city came into all that. The, right, the, the, the city puts in 15% and then a, a, in a loan form, and then the, the SBA backs up the 75% at a bank. Okay, with the state of the economy now, right. where is the 15% coming from? Well, that's a great question. And like I said earlier, um, every proposal I've made during the campaign, I've uh, and as a commissioner, frankly, I've explained a, a funding mechanism that can happen without raising taxes. Um, in this particular instance, about two months ago or three months ago when the, the police layoffs uh, were being talked about, and actually occurred, um, 75 police officers laid off, uh, I did my research and uh, as a commissioner I have, I think, a good vantage point on this. I saw that there was a lot, there's a lot of duplication among city and county government, there's a ton of overlap. Um, for example, in things like uh, the computer department, IT department. You have two separate <coughs> IT departments, one on the city side, one on the county side. They're doing pretty much the same job, and they are um, it, it, not even communicating with each other. There's no, I mean, not even like they're working on one or two projects, there's actually no communication. Uh, so I identified on, on that model, I identified about uh, six million dollars of cuts that I would make as mayor uh, by combining city and county services. And I think you'd get better, uh, equal if not better service to the community at much less of cost. The idea is the same as economies of scale. It's like how does Coca-Cola make money and a small uh, cola, you know, small uh, soda company can't compete with it? It's because they're bigger. They, they get discounts when they buy things. They have operation networks that make it more efficient um, on, a, on a larger scale. That's how government in a lot of times needs to work, to be more efficient. So in any way, it's a long way of saying I've identified the $6 million, five to $6 million. 61, 60, about 60 of the 75 police officers have been hired back now through federal grants. So about $4 million of the uh, $5 million that I previously identified as potential cost savings is now available uh, for, I think, investment and creation of jobs, which is our number one uh, challenge in this community, and uh, and that's where I got the money uh, to pay for the city's uh, small percentage of, of the overall uh, investment. Reduce the sales tax seven and a half percent sales tax. Come on, <laughs> let's reduce the sales tax. Okay. Let's get rid of the trash fee. Okay, it, it's going to double again. Right. I mean, all of these things affect us mm -hmm. right here in the pocketbook. Okay. Right. When we, I just got a pay cut where I work. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that means no more dinners every Friday night, or no more movies, or no more pizza, or no more something. Mm -hmm. I can't just say, well, I'll just work in a deficit, I'll just mm -hmm. write this $100 bad check, and well, they don't trust me for it. They don't trust for me. Mm -hmm. I can't work in a deficit. Right. Okay? So if you get this abundance of money from all these tax savings, mm -hmm. I think historically politicians mm -hmm. have just spent it somewhere else and not mm -hmm. give it back mm -hmm. to their employer, mm -hmm. us here. Okay. Yeah. I think I think you need to have something like that in mind and give it back, pay it back, pay it forward, mm -hmm. work forward. Okay. Pay it forward. That, 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 those those are fair points, and I don't I don't <coughs> disagree. Uh, in some senses, conceptually, with what you're saying, here's here's the way I look at the math, though. Okay, and and we might just have a difference of opinion, and it's a, it's an honest difference, I think, you know. And I don't hold it against you, and I hope you don't hold it against me. Uh, if let's say you save three million dollars, okay, okay just to, there's three hundred thousand citizens in Toledo. So what is that? Ten bucks a citizen, right? Okay. okay. So now, I, let's say let's let's take your. Uh, policy, which I said, is, I respect it, I can see where you're coming from, you give everyone 10 bucks. Okay. Give it back to the citizens, right? Okay. What about 
if, if you take that $3 million, all right, under my program, you take that savings, and that then opens up about uh, close to 15 to 20 million dollars worth of capital for small businesses to use in, in Toledo. Okay, uh, that capital then could hire, uh, like it did in Youngstown, 1,500 workers. So, and that's a potential. I mean, there, there's flaws in that model, no doubt. It might not happen. It could, though. It's worked in Youngstown to that effect. So you take, you, you look at it that way. Uh, you could give ten dollars back to everyone, or you could do a program that works, that opens up a ton of capital that's just sitting there, uh, that banks have that they are unlikely, that they don't want to loan out, but they have it in their reserves, but this opens it up to, to the citizens, to the small businessmen and women, and you create potentially 1,500 jobs and $20 million of investment. So I, I don't disagree with you. If, if, if there's really a waste of money, if you, if you have five people doing a job that one person ought to do, you know what, I'm all for cutting it. And if you can't find anything better to do with the money, that's fine. But uh, when you have a close to a 20% unemployment rate, which is probably closer to 25 or 30, really, when the numbers are really measured accurately, um, when you're losing population at a record clip, when you have one of the highest bankruptcy rates and one of the highest foreclosure rates in the country, I'm of the belief, and you can have a reasonable disagreement on this, and I don't, I don't begrudge your position, I hope you don't begrudge mine. I'm of the belief that there needs to be smart programs that help create jobs uh, in this mm -hmm. community. This program is one that works. Like I said, you, you, you multiply your money, and, uh, and that's just my opinion. That's my opinion. You might have a different opinion. But when I look at it, I'd rather see $20 million of investment, a potential of 1,500 jobs, rather than $10 for each person. But that, that's, that's my decision. I mean, that's just how I look at it. Okay. Yes. Thank you, sir. Fair question. Yes, ma'am. Maybe there should be fewer programs and more focus on all the little things that business pe men com complain about here mm -hmm. with all the licensures mm -hmm. and fees. And the, I mean, okay. people can get loans. Well, people, it's, it's there's difficult. There's no jobs. I mean, nobody to buy anything in their store. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it is, I think, though, uh, and I, I hear this a lot from from business folks throughout the community. It is very difficult to get a loan right now, especially for small businesses. My, my brother's actually in the financial industry on the loan side and, and sees this every day. Uh, so I mean, I think there really is, whether or not you agree with my um, approach to handling the problem, there is a problem though of capital flowing to small business <laughs> folks in particular. Um, so I think that is a real problem. Could, could government act more efficiently? when it comes to uh, permitting and, and speeding up the process? Of course, of course, there's no doubt about it. You could use technology, you can merge county and city departments to make it a more efficient one-stop place. I'm all for that. There's no doubt that's, that's the right uh, part of the solution. It's not all of the solution in my, in my mind. It really, it, I think there, it's a more complex problem. Y yes, ma'am. 